and welcome to this latest partner network recording. Um, today I'm joined by Craig Higgs from Golf Genius. Um, Craig uh, is the managing director of Golf Genius. I'm sure everybody knows now. He's been on one or two of our um, pieces uh, to camera already. And we're going to be picking up today on a topic of product development um, based around some of the some of the written pieces that have already gone out through the GCMA channels recently uh, around that subject. And Craig is just going to pick up a little bit more on that and talk a little bit more about product development and what that means at Golf Genius. So, Craig, welcome. Good to see you again. Darren, good to see you. Thanks for having me. And uh, wish uh, everybody that's listening a uh, happy new year, 2023. I think is set to be another challenge, but hopefully a very rewarding one for everybody to do with the golf club industry. And again, we'll see if we can uh, help make golf more fun for everybody. Sounds good to me. Golf needs to be fun. We always forget that part, I think, when we get uh, bogged down in some of the rules and stuff. It's meant to be fun, so good stuff. Um, so, as I say, we, we talked a little bit um, last time uh, and we've seen written pieces around product development. Um, and if you could just want to bring us up to date a little bit on how, on how that's been looking at Golf Genius. Yeah, well, um, product development, um, just I suppose a little bit for those who don't know and it, it's a very short sort of uh, potted history golf genius has been you know working uh, to make golf more fun since about 2009 um we're obviously very very well known for tournament management um possibly some of the viewers would also know we do handicapping we do all the handicapping for the usga and about 20 countries worldwide so we've we've participated in that discussion um, you know, with the powers that be, and we know quite a bit there. Um, but primarily, you know, we've, we've been in uh, tournament management, uh, started in trips, uh, moved into golf clubs, um, started working with USGA, got a deal to supply all golf clubs in the US, which we do today. Uh, and we brought, um, you know, uh, the product to about 60 countries worldwide, and we have uh, probably you know, nearing a thousand customers internationally that use the product that is extensively used in the US. So mainly uh, tournament management, uh, handicapping. We've launched some new products for golf shop retailing. And um, that sort of um, sets the trend. Um, it's always good to look back, but it's most important to look forward. And I think that's part and parcel of uh, what we're talking about today is, is where, where, where can we go and how can we help golf clubs to, you know, uh, take that uh, move into the digital space. And, and we take that very seriously. Yeah. It's obviously um, talking about product development and software for golf clubs. Um, a lot of the viewers remember me from a previous existent working for, for one of your competitors. So I remember you from a, yeah, yeah. From a previous people, existence and people, um, people do put the name uh, face to the yes. name eventually. And, but yeah. it's, it's a subject that's, you know, I've been, you know, still quite attached to as, you know, spending so long working in that part of the golf industry as a, as a golfer myself. Um, first and foremost, I'm really, really keen to see, you know, how does, how does that fun element and how does, how does software development look to, to a golfer? Um, and how does that benefit them? So, you know, I think one of the questions really is, you know, why why is product development, you know, so so important for software companies? Well, I think you know, if you look specifically at the uh, the golf club space, um, the big thing that's happening as we see it is, well, it's sort of sort of three areas. First of all, I don't think there's any doubt that the customer profile is changing. Um, you know, we're moving away from uh, an audience that uh, was reluctant to embrace, uh, you know, change, mm. you know, the digital, everybody talks about the app, uh, to a, a new audience that, you know, everybody uh, benefited from uh, during COVID coming in and, and they expect to consume their golf, you know, through digital means. It, it's how they um, live their lives. So. Customers are, are starting to demand it more. Um, I think the uh, the GMs, the club secretaries are 
you know, uh, obviously moving into the industry younger, they embrace technology, they, they see it as something that is going to empower their customer offer, um, rather than be a little hesitant about it. So I think that, you know, that's, that's the second reason. And I think, you know, um, the golf industry has become very attractive. Mm. Um, and a lot of tech companies uh, are seeing, you know, the great things that golf uh, offer, which is a very big audience, you know, it starts when, you know, they're sort of 10, all the way through to, you know, they play up to 75. So it's a huge, it's a huge market opportunity. And, and what we've seen is, uh, a lot of tech companies come into um, the space. Okay, Golf Genius was back in 2009, but, you know, uh, a lot of your members will know that there are new people doing T-sheets, new people doing payment pr processing. So um, the choice has, has certainly broadened beyond, you know, um, if you like, one, one supplier, um, you know, supplies everything. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. And and we, we understand that that's a very attractive offer to um, a lot of golf clubs. But, you know, there are others out there who also want to, you know, um, mix and match, um, do an integrated solution, which is going to give them the type of uh, solution they want for uh, their customers and, and members. Yeah, uh, as I say, interesting stuff because of my background there, but um I think one of the phrases I used to talk to golf clubs about um, almost on a weekly basis was when we're interacting with our developers within the software industry is how do we improve the day-to-day -day life of a club manager or, or how do we make the, you know, golf more fun as we're talking about for golfers. So I always used to try and, you know, ensure that we were ticking one and hopefully two boxes there when we, you know, in the previous life talked about product development. So from a day-to-day -day basis, how does, how does that look for golf club managers using using the golf genius solution? Again, um, you know, we we um, we like to think of ourselves as a, a you know a very good, helpful uh, software uh, supplier to the industry. Uh, we one hundred percent understand that our product has to continually develop and has to move forward to satisfy. You know, there's a number of audiences, you know, it has to do what it needs to do for the professional. It needs yeah. to deliver for the club manager. And, you know, very importantly in that, it needs to provide, you know, provide for the members. There's yeah. such an important part for the club managers and the pro to look after. So, you know, there's a, there's a complicated, um, if you like, consumer customer model out there. But, you know, we understand that, you know, if we don't develop, you know, we die. And I think that's mm -hmm. inherent in any good uh, software uh, business. Um, uh, so, you know, we we spend a lot of time, therefore, looking uh, and listening to, to our customers. And um, that's not always the most uplifting uh, experience ever. <clears throat> um, you know, customers, quite rightly, uh, should demand um, more of the product. We have to be sensible in what, you know, we can put into the product. But, you know, we we, we have to listen. And as I say, uh, we do that, you know, in informal and informal ways. Um, we've always prided ourselves on, you know, a good level of support. And our support team, you know, is growing well with the business as we grow with, with the customer base. They are regularly talking and helping, um, you know, clubs use the product. Uh, and we find out in those conversations uh, what it needs to do and, you know, what it doesn't do. And uh, again, uh, we're big boys. We, we we listen to golf club managers tell us yeah. the truth, the honest truth and nothing but the truth. And um, we have to pick up that gauntlet and do something about it. We also... Uh, we also use uh, something called Net Promoter Score, which uh, some of your members, again, might be, um, um, <clears throat> you know, used to uh, uh, experiencing or seeing or understanding. Um, and whilst we get lots of people giving us, you know, high ratings, nines and tens, uh, the ones that are really important to us are the ones and the twos. Mm. And yes, we get those. Um, and uh, those are the ones that are telling us where our product is not performing for our customers. 
Uh, and, you know, net promoter score is, you know, is a, a constant and continual, um, you know, market research, customer feedback mechanism. And uh, it, it again, it never stops. So we're, we're continually getting that feedback. Um, once you get that feedback, um, you have to do something about it. I think there's nothing that the customer or the club manager uh, likes least is to, you know, give that feedback and not get anything back, you know, in terms of a tangible uh, feature. So, you know, we've gone through that process uh, and are going through that process. Um, we are, it's not fortunate, but we do have a developer resource of over a hundred engineers, which is certainly unusual in the golf software space, uh, again, uh, probably 30 to 40% of that works uh, directly in tournament management. Um, and, you know, uh, that's after 13 years of developing. You know, we believe we should be very good at what we do. So we have narrow focuses like tournament management, like handicapping. And we try and develop a product which is very deep, very feature rich and gives everything that the uh, the consumer club manager wants but you know even after 13 years you know we're not we're not there yet and we we continually use the feedback to you know make the product um more acceptable for the club manager and the pro in in setting up the golf and you know uh much easier to use for the members and the guests so they get a great experience of golf at uh, golf clubs uh, that we we supply. I think you've. Um, I had a couple extra questions I was going to ask you, but you've answered everything there in that uh, in that that summing up. But one of the um, uh, w- one of the things you mentioned there was the the net promoter score, the NPS score, and, and the GCMA have just started to, or maybe last year started to use that themselves through our uh, our membership feedback. Uh, and our own survey that, that, that has gone out recently and we'll have the results of that in early January. So it'd be really interesting for us as an organisation to listen to our members in terms of how they perceive their their journey with uh, with us and, and our partnership network as well. So there'll be some interesting data in that for us to react to. Uh, I think, that, I think that, you know, it is, it is core hmm. to being successful. Hmm. You know, we have... You know, um, a phrase that is, that is absolutely uh, fundamental and core to what we believe, which is leading by listening. Hmm. And NPS <clears throat> is a fantastic tool um, to use um, uh, and to use properly. And to use it properly, you have to look at it. You have to commit to it. You have to uh, make sure that, you know, the, the great scores, the nice scores are really nice to have and they do create, you know, uh, the average that, that, that you, you work to. But it, it is the nuts and bolts of the ones where you're not delivering. It's where the customers, you know, have the opportunity to give you that feedback. And every one of our customers throughout Golf Genius, you know, internationally US, <clears throat> you know, participates in Net Promoter Score. Um, and... It may be because the medium is, you know, it's it's electronic, it's digital. People are very candid. They're very honest. Um, mm-hmm. And we, within the business, we even have um, a, a channel, a Slack channel, which anybody in the company can go and look at all of these results on a daily basis. And as I say, it's the concentration on the ones where the, you know, the service uh, rating isn't where you want it to be, which is, yeah. It, it then creates this um, this process, this production line that we have where we identify those issues, uh, the problems for our customers. We, we grade those in terms of what makes um, the most sense to do to satisfy um, A, you know, the customers, but B also makes our product more applicable to, to, to other new customers. Um, and, you, you know, once you've got that, you know, there's a process of specifying, getting into developers, testing, 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 and, mm-hmm. and bringing it into the market. We we release 
and have released um, typically over the last three years over 100 features per year. Uh, we usually have six development uh, release cycles. We inform our customers of, of what we've done. And uh, it's great to get our customers who are very quick uh, to say, you know, where the product's not performing. All credit to those customers. They're also just as quick to say, you know what? Thank you very much for listening. And what you've done really makes a difference. And I think... That's the sort of cycle that we want and we believe the industry should have. We believe competition is is very, very important. Uh, we believe yeah. we bring another level of that. And um, we anybody that participates in the market should be, you know, you know, um, wanting to compete and give the customers the best possible service. If we do that, you know. The market becomes better. The clubs become better. There are more players playing the game. Yeah. And it just becomes, you know, a virtuous circle upwards. And um, we're very happy to uh, be active, very active in that market. I think we've, 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 you know, we've sort of carved out a niche, you know, about golf, making it fun. Um, I think people recognise you know, we, we can make a difference, but we don't take anything for granted. We have to keep keep making sure we, we give a product that, that fits the market. Yeah. I think when you've got the world's number one golfer um, endorsing and enjoying the product as well, I think that's, um, you know, pretty good seal on it. Yeah, yeah. We're really proud that Rory has, uh, you know, invested his hard-earned money. Um, we, 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 we do, yeah, we are very proud. We think that's it's something that... Um, People recognise, and I think they recognise that uh, you know not only is he a fantastic golfer, but he's also a guy of um, the right quality and, and the mm -hmm. right uh, values. That um, he's a great, great ambassador for our business. Yeah, we're really, really pleased and excited about that, and it continues. Um, you know, we're we believe that, as I say, golf should be fun. Uh, we're investing in, in in products, new products, which I say will come. Uh, there's we just launched a coaching product uh, in the US, which will come to the UK in uh, back end of uh, 2023. And that's there to make it, you know, help golfers get better. If yeah. if, if that if they get better, they play more golf. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's it's something that, again, we're, we're committed to uh, helping, uh, you know, do our bit to increase the market as well. Sounds really, really positive about what's happening in the industry at the moment and how the competition is helping to, to provide the members, the GCMO members and golf, golfers uh, in general with, a, with you know, better solutions because competition is driving that market. So that's, that's fantastic to hear. Have you got one or two of the, the, the most recent features that might have been released that golfers should know about and golf club managers might want to be aware yeah. of? I think that you know, one of the things that we, we're constantly looking at is uh, to make the product um, more usable, mm -hmm. you know, usable for uh, the people that are, you know, uh, creating the competitions. Uh, we, we've got l lots of analysis in terms of, you know, what types of events are being created within Golf Genius. How can we get people to, you know, get to that point, um, you know, with the, the least number of clicks? Yeah, um, we, we're doing that. We're also, you know, looking um, and developing improvements to um, things like terminals, club apps, again, helping the members. Again, in the UK, a uh, little Australia too, uh, the member does quite a bit of um, the golf admin. You know, they're signing in, they're, they're, they're sort of, you know... Yeah. Um, putting their scores in and all those sorts of things, you know, we, we've, we've adapted our product to, to make that easier to do. Mm. Uh, and, you know, the third area that we're constantly doing and, you know, uh, today we, we integrate with over 70 different software partners. Um, we're always looking to work with, you know, those new entrants, you know, there, there's some very good BRS is the most obvious example mm -hmm. of us working here in the UK with a, a great provider, 
you know, obviously tradition is in um, uh, T-sheets, but they've, they've brought, you know, uh, that all-in-one offer, and we're very pleased to, you know, be a part of that. But there are also yeah. other providers, Lightspeed and, and other people that we, we, we uh, integrate with because we believe, you know, our job is to find and work with those suppliers that, you know, your members want to work with. And um, we, we've we got more of those integrations to come. Um, there's a good product um, that I think lot, some people will, will start to hear about called Golf Manager. Uh, and there are a number of, um, you know, uh, other partners, people like Jonas and North Star that we already yeah. work with. So our whole philosophy is, you know, is to work within the ecosystem, do what we're really good at, and uh, hopefully you know, uh, help make a difference uh, for the club manager, uh, giving them more time, making it more efficient and also enhancing the uh, the end product for the uh, the member and the guest. Sounds great. And that's, that's always going to be the end goal, I, I would think, is to, to how do you improve the life of the golf club manager and the people administrating golf and provide golfers with a with a, a great experience to, to be playing golf. So, uh, it sounds like quite a few boxes uh, are being. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we 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 re- we truly understand and recognise, um, you know, the the situ or the, the the contradiction that you know, or the balance that the golf manager is trying to maintain between you know the, the traditional member and the new member. Yeah, we have to be really helpful in that scenario. We have to, you know, provide. You know, as we do, you know, we can pr- you can you can print a scorecard as easily as use the app within Golf Genius. You know, yeah. so what what do you want to? You can mix and match. You you've got to be able to help this transition. Uh, yeah. We do. I think there was a recent podcast that um, you know uh, my boss uh, Mike Zisman, CEO, did about you know the the life life um, lifespan of the golf uh, scorecard. Yeah. Um, no doubt in five to 10 years, people will be using the phone, you know, but there's a good way to go before before that happens. So we have to be, um, you know, we have to be non-prescriptive in, in the tech we supply hmm. so that we can help all of the managers at the, the stage they are in um, of that whole digitization process. We just have to be helpful. You know, we, we need yeah. to... Um, you know, listen, mm-hmm. very important, do, and then listen again. And um, it's a it's a process that never ends. Sounds like a good way of looking at the evolution of uh, our market here in the UK at the moment is that, that listening piece and then acting on that and evolving the product as, you know, the industry uh, is moving forward. Um, I've no doubt that, you know, this, this horrible pandemic that we've all been through for the last few years has accelerated some of the technolo- technology behind uh, certain things in the UK. And I think it's, you know, really great to hear that we're building on that um, as an industry moving forward. I think one of the one of the last things we probably want to just touch on is, is how, it was a generalisation, how do we feel that the golf industry is going to look in maybe another three to five years' time? Um, what does technology look like in golf in three to five? I think you probably touched on that a little there when you got the scorecard. I think, yeah, I, I think that, you know, uh, said at the top of the uh, the podcast, 2023, I think, you know, has, has you know, all, um, all the uh, uh, sort of importance to be a, a, another good year. I, I think the... Um, the general trend for the popularity of golf is is upward. I think people, you know, have started to understand the real values of, of, of playing golf. Notwithstanding that, I think, you know, the current economic um, situation is going to be challenging. You know, we'll all go through, you know, the, the membership dance, uh, which will be, you know, January through to April. Um, but I think, um, you know, uh, again, the software uh, suppliers have a role to play, you know, making it, you know, making the industry more efficient, um, improving the product. Uh, and I think that um, whilst there might be some choppy waters in 2023, I think, as I say, the, the upward trend is a good one. And, you know, uh, with technology, 
Uh, I think the new audience uh, will be well and better attracted into um, into uh, the game because that technology will ultimately make it more fun. And you know, you you see today, you know, the the differences that uh, there are in you know at the very top, uh, you know, the discussions that go on to the the formats that we. You know, we're helping. It's it's been really exciting to see. You know, uh, the work that we've done with Golf Sixes, um, uh, Golf Foundation, uh, to to sort of help them move their product from you know um, paper and pen to fully digital, because that's really what you know uh, the, yeah. the the children and the kids want to do, and and it's really exciting to see that and. You know, there's there's a process that we can help with over the next two, three, five years to help clubs move into that into that um, you know environment. And um, you know, it's not something to be feared; it's something to be embraced. And you know, we we we're always ready um, to help show uh, people how how that could look. And you know, we 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 love talking to all of our customers and potential customers about, you know, how they can move it forward, you know, at the pace they want to move it forward, um, using t uh, software tech and, and, of course, sometimes Golf Genius. Yeah. Interesting to use that phrase at the, the, the pace that they want to move it forward. I, I once met a, a general manager a few years ago who used the phrase, uh, I like to use evolution rather than revolution, Darren, within golf. I think if you evolve it with the with the journey, it becomes a more palatable um, solution for all kinds of golfers out there that, that ticks a lot of boxes. It, it's it's hundred percent true, and that you know that's that's you know the, the process of listening. Yeah, the process of listening, MPS, the process of listening to what your product, how your product is is performing by your customers, is exactly that that uh, definition mm. you cannot be prescriptive mm. you know <clears throat> you know five years ago six years ago there were companies coming and saying you know digital scoring is here and here's the device and you know that's how it's going to be no you've got to you know you're never going to get that that sort of uptake covid no doubt was 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 a huge you know accelerator for uh, the digital uh, app scoring when you know scorecards were you know banned but you know i don't know anybody who doesn't like a good scorecard so you you've got to you've got to you, you've got to you know meet and tailor your needs to what your customers want yeah absolutely and that that leads us very nearly into just kind of wrapping up this this latest um recording as part of our partnership network um, but from a uh, Golf Genius point of view, interacting with our GCMA members, um, I want to thank you for your time. Um, it's always great to chat about the golf industry with you, Craig. Um, you and the team have got such a great depth of knowledge and a great empathy with golf clubs out there. And to, you know, to be around you and the team, you can feel the enthusiasm that everybody has for providing the best kind of solutions for golf clubs and listening, which is probably one of the key phrases to take away from this today. Um, but just to end it off from your side, how, what's the best way for our members and golfers in general to get in touch with the Golf Genius team to, to either give feedback or, or to learn more about what, what they could do for them? Um, well, as I say, I mean, I, I think what we'd say is, you know, we, I go back to something we've already said. We're about trying to make golf fun. If, we, if, we, if we're successful in making golf fun or helping our customers make golf fun, then loyalty goes up, participation goes up, uh, and I think everybody, you know, uh, will, will get the benefit. If anybody wants to hear more or see more, obviously, um, um, uh, golfgenius.com uh, forward slash international. Um, they can obviously email me, craig at golfgenius.com. But we, we're really, really focused. If somebody wants to see, you know, their next open event done, using Golf Genius, then use any of those two uh, methods. There are um, demo request forms on the website. We'll just absolutely do um, tailor-made for, um, you know, each and each person who's interested and, and get into that discussion. Just get into the discussion about what it is 
what is what do you need at your club how can we help you know make golf better sounds fantastic craig thanks very much um i think we're now into a new year uh, and i'm really excited to see what golf looks like heading into uh, another uk golf season um when we get around to march and april and i'm sure everybody's going to be uh, really excited to see what happens with golf genius moving forward uh through this year so can i thank you again for your time um, Aaron, it's a pleasure We'll see you again really soon, hopefully. Yeah, we look forward to that. And I look forward to the next time we can get out and meet members, you know, either uh, myself or one of the team at the local regional level, uh, as well as national. Look forward to that. Great stuff. Thanks again, Craig. And thank thanks you, everyone for watching. We'll see you all again soon.